Business Simulation. Let's talk about it. Dear me, three to six months. Watch how I make you proud. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Xavier. This is Tech Xavier, where I share my journey in tech, both on the career side and the education side. I'm a recent WGU graduate and I obtained my degree in IT management. And with the help of my enrollment counselor and my program mentor, I was able to accelerate through the program in about three and a half months, starting November 1st, 2022, and taking my final course on February 16th, 2023. In today's video, we're going to talk about business simulation course D361. We're going to talk about the course requirements. What is a business simulation? How is this relevant to IT management? And ultimately, what things you should consider and what activities you can do in order to pass the course. Okay, so what is business simulation? You are launching a startup and you're doing all the steps you can to basically make that startup successful. And success is measured over multiple different areas. How you hire people? Do you market well? What is your product looking like? Just all these different components that you are actively keeping up with. And it's like a game. <laughs> now you may be asking, how does this tie to IT management? In short, some people that are going into management are also going into it to work with startups, or maybe you might want to apply these skills so that you can start your own business. This is a great hands-on type of course so that you can see all the things that come with the business. And even in IT management, you still have to work in alignment with an organization's goals and strategies. So it's important to see what it is that they're up against so that when you're creating tools and software to help them, then you can keep the business in mind and make sure that it's tailored for your customer, which in this case may be like the marketing team, could be the HR team, could be the sales team, whomever is part of that launch or the initial startup. Okay, so here we are at the course homepage. So you can see the course up here. We can see when I started the course on January 19th is when I started. And then here's an overview. Here are the core competencies that it covers, learning, the cohort sign up, course material. You have your assessment information down here. And then instructor announcements, course tips, course search, and course chatter. Now this is a four unit course and it contains a performance assessment, which is broken down into two tasks, which you can see here. We'll go over just some things to consider as you're preparing for this. Let's look at the course resources page as well as the course materials. Okay, so this is the course resource page and the information is a little bit more limited here than in past or other courses that I've taken. And I think the reason is because everything is really baked into the simulation. So if you go on the simulation page, you'll see all these cool activities. There's guided activities and lots of context and things for you to read through so that you can achieve the highest likelihood of success. And to quote unquote pass the simulation, the minimum requirements aren't that high. You don't have to necessarily be super profitable. You don't have to be the best in class in terms of what you're producing, but you just can't destroy the company. <laughs> okay, next we have the course materials page. And this is one course where I do things a little differently. In the past, when I've looked at the course materials, I usually glance over them so that I can prime my mind in order to be successful in objective assessment. There's no objective assessment for this course, but there are bits of information that's actually worth reading, in my opinion, in units two through seven, so that you can consider how you're going to approach the game in real time. Okay, so now let's discuss what you can expect with the performance assessment. I'm just gonna start with the task overview. The competency that you need to be aware of is here, 3083.1.1. And essentially it says the graduate applies competencies from across the business core curriculum, demonstrating the ability to lead the implementation, the mission, strategy, and goals of an organization. So you're basically running the show, you're the CEO, and you're making as many decisions informed by your team as possible. Next up, we have the um, 
submission page and essentially you'll upload your submissions and then review the similarity score and then submit it. Now I want to touch on the fact that in the similarity score, you're utilizing various templates and some of these templates have a lot of the same text. So everyone's submitting that. So don't freak out if you see that your similarity scores are pretty high. I was nervous about this, but after reviewing the worksheets and what I submitted, it's just, it's really the bulk of the template that's showing up in this report in terms of what's similar. There are some things maybe in terms of your wording, but you're also drawing off things that you learn from the textbook. So it's natural. So just don't let it consume you, submit it. And then if there's any feedback, trust me, the team will let you know. Okay. And then the last thing is an evaluation report. So just use your imagination on this. On the left side of the report, you'll see all the various areas of the task. So there may be like section A, B, C, all the way through D or E. And as you're looking at these different sections, you're going to see basically what you scored. And so this just takes a lot of time. When you're in a simulation, it may take you a couple of days, or if you're doing this all day, it just may be a full day's activity. But essentially, if you're just following the steps in the, in the template and the scenario and all the requirements, you should be pretty good. So I can't really go into detail about what the assignment is per se, but I can tell you some things you want to think about as you're going through this course. Number one is you want to, you want to spend time reviewing what it is that your company is going to be responsible for, because that's going to lead a lot of the decisions that you make. You also want to really review all of the text within the simulation. So that way you're making informed decisions. You understand what it is you're asking members of your team to do. And then you're able to tell what the outcome is going to be based off of the text, the course materials, as well as some of the content in the simulation. The other thing too, is that you want to get a good feel for the accounting portion. So if you haven't taken an accounting course, I'll definitely suggest that you take that course. In addition, maybe a spreadsheet course, if you're not as familiar with spreadsheets, those two are going to be really, really essential for you to do some reporting. And part of your submission is probably going to include one of those two things. So definitely look out for that. Aside from that, it's just about justifying what you're doing and why. A lot of these higher level courses allow you to apply what you've learned throughout all of your tenure at WGU or anything you may have taken through study.com or Sophia or some other school. And now you're applying that to a real world simulation or application. Okay. So good luck on this course. I had a lot of fun with it. This is something that I think you can get done in a week. Honestly, if you have a week of just free time, it just takes you going through the course and just jumping right into the simulation, making sure that you understand what is being asked of you and just submitting your stuff as soon as possible. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you like the content, share it with somebody else. Comment below if this was helpful for you. I know with these videos, I can't give away every single detail, but this is just some ways to prepare you to think about how to be successful with the course. And as always, know that school is going to be difficult. It's going to be hard. But the important thing is that you are not being hard on yourself. Just work hard on yourself. Improve the different strategies, improve your system and your environment, just work on the things you can actually control. And I'm certain that the outcome is going to be great. And you'll look up and may, you might pass everything in a month <laughs> or two months. So at any rate, take care. Thank you for checking out this content and I will catch you in the next video. Take care. Dear me, three to six months, watch how I make you proud.